Turning to the Middle East tonight, and there are new physical barriers between Israelis and Palestinians following another deadly day of violence. Israeli police put up this 15-foot wall blocking the entrance to an Arab neighborhood in Jerusalem. It's a very visible sign of the tensions between these two groups. ABC's Alex Marquardt reporting in from Jerusalem tonight. Gunfire tonight at a crowded bus station in southern Israel. An armed Palestinian killing an Israeli soldier and wounding almost a dozen others before being shot and killed. A foreign bystander was also mistaken for an attacker. He was shot, brutally beaten, and then reportedly died of his wounds. It's the latest in two deadly weeks of lone wolf attacks and growing clashes, which Israel accuses Palestinian leaders of inciting. This has become a daily scene almost in the West Bank. Palestinians say it's motivated by Israeli infringement at the Holy Al-Aqsa Mosque and young anger erupting over Israel's occupation. In Jerusalem, the city that Israel calls its undivided capital, tonight the divisions, physical and emotional, are growing between its residents. This wall went up just a short time ago here in this Palestinian neighborhood, adding to the roadblocks that already surround it. Measures that the Israeli police tell us are necessary to try to stop this wave of attacks, but which also fuel the Palestinian frustration and anger. As Israeli residents worry about the next attack, many Palestinians now show their IDs to leave their neighborhoods. Stop and frisk is on the rise. The violence also boiling over to biblical sites. Joseph's tomb in the West Bank, which is revered by Jews, was torched by Palestinians. With neither side taking steps to ease the tension here, Secretary of State John Kerry is now getting involved, due to meet this week with the Israeli Prime Minister on Thursday, and then with the Palestinian President a few days later. Tom? Alex Marquardt for us tonight. Alex, thank you.